the whole feel of it's different. It's a lot less formal than Sunday morning. We just got so many people saying they can't come on Sundays. There's so much happening nowadays on Sundays for kids and adults um, that we felt we needed to look into doing something at another time. And of course, the Saturday evening Eucharist has been a proven success in the Roman Catholic Church over the last 25, 30 years. Um, it seemed an obvious thing to try. I'd been to Paris, I went to the Sacre Coeur, me and my husband went to this service that was at 10 pm on an evening and just came out of there feeling wonderful and thinking, wouldn't it be good if young couples like us could come to church on a Saturday night and rather than asking them to come on a Sunday morning. For an hour before the service, we have a children's activities in the church hall to try and encourage families to come. A lot of congregations are, you know, they are mixed ages but they are a lot older and they expect children just to be quiet and it is impossible to do that. So when they started the Saturday service, we basically, we started coming to church again. daughter, four year old, and uh, just one evening we sort of like I got all settled in and my daughter had said to me, oh mummy, aren't we going to church tonight? And she really wanted to go to church. We don't follow the order of service quite as rigidly as on a Sunday, we don't follow the lectionary, we tend to have taken a thematic approach. Um, at the moment we're just starting tonight a series where we're answering questions that people from the congregation have asked. On a Saturday night we don't always have someone stood at the lectern doing formal um, intercessions in the usual way. We've used finger paint and, and you know, we've used newspaper articles and taken them to a cross. And sometimes we've called that liquid prayer which is a fresh expression of worship that some other churches use. It is a Eucharist, so that we're not sort of saying, well, now you've been coming to this for three months, it's time you moved on to, for want of a better word, grown-up church. This is grown-up church. Um, I think something that really helped to set it up is we decided to have a mission week and a major launch. We also did other things like write letters to everyone who'd had their children baptised in the church over the past five years. Think it through carefully, spend time preparing, make sure that you get people from the existing congregation who are going to support it in the early stages. Give it maximum publicity, um, any method you can, try and get the local press involved put something on. I mean, we did a barbecue the first night after the service as a sort of gimmick. 